Hello, welcome to the next video of the section using snapshots, templates and clones. In this video, you are going to understand about the snapshot, clone and templates. And at the end of the video, we are going to do some lab activities related to creating the snapshots, doing the cloning and template. What is snapshot? Snapshot is a process of creating a point in time state of a virtual machine. It preserves the state of virtual machine and gives ability to back out to the previous state. Let's suppose if you are installing an application or any software which crashed your operating system. What will you do here? You can simply restore the operating system by using the snapshot and it won't take much time. You can have multiple snapshots on single virtual machine. Snapshot states. You have three states. One is setting state, second one is disk state and third one is memory state which is optional. In a setting state, it takes the snapshot of your virtual machine settings and power state such as NVDAM and VMX configuration file. In disk state, it takes the snapshot of virtual machine disk like VMDK disk which has virtual machine data and third state is memory state. If you have checked the option of memory state of virtual machine then it take the snapshot of memory state as well which contains a virtual machine's memory. Types of snapshot. Snapshot depends on the data store that you are using in a virtual environment. If you are using VMFS file then it will have a snapshot type of vmfs sparse and the file name of snapshot will be delta.vmdk and if you are using vmfs 6 or vmfs 5 larger than 2 tb then the type of snapshot will be sc sparse and the file name of snapshot will be sc sparse.vmdk and if you are using vsan environment then the type of snapshot will be vsan sparse and the file name would be delta object snapshot manager when you will take snapshot it shows all the information in snapshot manager in a snapshot manager you will get option to revert to delete and delete all it means if you will click on revert to it will revert to the state when the snapshot was taken for that particular virtual machine. And if you select delete option, it will delete any snapshot in the hierarchy. But if the snapshot has data with the child dependency, then data is merged with the parent snapshot. And if you choose the option of delete all, it will delete all the snapshots from the manager and it will merge all the data to the original pointer and you will not have any snapshot in the snapshot manager then. Snapshot files. We have multiple files when we take snapshot. The file names are .vmsn which is a configuration state of snapshot, .vmem which is a memory state of snapshot and it is selected when you have opted for the virtual machine memory option during the snapshot wizard and the file is .vmdk that is for disk descriptor and delta.vmdk which has snapshot data and if you are using vmfs file then only you will have delta.vmdk and if you are using data store as a vmfs 6 then you would have scsparse.vmdk and the last file is vmsd that contains the descriptor file of snapshot. What is clone? Creating a duplicate copy of any virtual machine is a clone. And you create clone of a virtual machine to keep a similar copy of that virtual machine which is pointed to the time when you created the clone. It means if you have a virtual machine A and if you want to create a same copy of that virtual machine 
with the same application and with the same operating system you do not need to build all the environment again you just create a clone of that virtual machine and the second machine which is created as a clone will have all the data similar to the machine A. It creates exact copy of a virtual machine and clone can also be power on or power off. It means you can use that clone as a virtual machine in a production environment. What is template? Template is a master copy of virtual machine and you use the template to provision virtual machine quickly with a similar configuration. Suppose you are working in a build team and you want to create multiple virtual machines. What you will do? You will create a template and by using that template you will create virtual machine. What will happen? The same configuration what it has in a template it will give you in a new virtual machine. There are also customization options are available when you create a virtual machine using the template. And template can also be converted to the virtual machine and a virtual machine can also be converted to a template. And the point what is to be noted here that template cannot be power on or power off. That's all from the snapshot, clone and template. Now we are jumping to the lab where we'll perform few activities such as create snapshot, delete snapshot, create clone, convert clone to template and create a VM using template. Login to vCenter server. To create a snapshot, you need to go to the host or virtual machine tab. Now select the virtual machine for which you want to create a snapshot. Right click on virtual machine. Go to snapshots. Click on take snapshot. Give any name. Click on OK. You can monitor this task using the taskbar. It is about to complete. Now snapshot has been created. To check the snapshot, right click on virtual machine. Go to snapshots. Click on manage snapshots. So here you can see the snapshot has been created. To delete the snapshot, select the snapshot and click on cross icon. Click yes. Snapshot has been deleted from this virtual machine. Now we will see how we can create a clone of the virtual machine. To create a clone, select the virtual machine, right click, go to clone, select clone to virtual machine. Give any name, select the data center, click next, select cluster, select ESXi host, click next, select data store, click next, click next. Click on finish. 
now you can see that clone has been created of virtual machine 02. Now I want to convert this clone to a template. Right click on virtual machine. Select template. Click on convert to template. Click yes. Now you can see that virtual machine has been converted to the template. You can see the difference between those icons. For virtual machine it is a different icon and for template this is a different icon. Now I want to create a virtual machine using this template. Right click, select new VM from this template. Give any name. Select data center and click next. Select cluster and ESXi host. Click next. Select data store. Click next. Click next. Click finish. Now you can see that VM04 has been created using the template. So in real environment, you do not need to create a multiple machines using the manual method. You can simply create a virtual machine and install the operating system and install applications and convert that virtual machine to template and create virtual machine using that template. So that will take less time. That's all from this session. Thank you. We are moving to the next video in which we will learn how we can create resource pool and VApp. Thank you. Stay tuned.